Hello everyone, I'm Ala Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is your band and for today's lesson we have End No Sunshine by Bill Withers. It sounds just like this. Alright, what I just played was the main riff that we're going to use pretty much for the entire song. We're playing in the key of A minor. And starting this main riff, we have A minor, so the one chord. Playing A and E on the left. A and C for the right hand. Then we have E minor 7. E on your left, G, B, and D, going up on G, playing G, G, and B. And that's the chords we're going to use for the first part of the main riff. Coming up next, we have E minor 7, now using this voicing, E on your left, up here, B, D, and G. Going down a whole step on D minor 7. D, A, C, and F. So, let's recap all that. A minor, first chord of the main riff. E minor 7. G. E minor 7 and D minor 7. So here's the first part 2, 3, 4. So we're going to start playing the root note alone. So A on your left. Then you're going to play the notes you have on your right hand. Using the left again, play E. And then replay the two notes on your right. After that, we're going to play the root note for the next chord, so E minor 7. Then play all the notes on the right hand. We're going to use the same pattern for G, so root note, then the right. And get back to A, now playing the root note, and then the notes on the right. One, two, three, four. One. Then we're going to repeat. But before that, we're going to play this melody line on the left. I'm playing E and then G. And then landing on A, I'm going to replay the whole thing. Two, three, four. So from the top. Two, three, four. One. Again. All right.
Right, now we can move on to the second part for this main riff. We're going to start it with this movement on the left. I played A, C, D, and then E. After playing E, I'm going to replay the note on my right hand for E minor 7, the second voice E. So B, D, and G. So I replayed the notes on my right hand on the ends of the measure. One and two and three and four. On the fourth beat, I replayed the root note, so E. Then I went down on D. One and two and three and four and. And I almost did the same thing. So playing D, first beat. We're playing the notes on my right, so A, C, and F on all the ends of the measure. One, and two, and three, and four. And then coming on the fourth beat, I have G played on my left. And on the end of the fourth, I'm going to play G and B. One, and two, and three, and four. So to end the second part, I'm going to replay what I had in the first part. So A, A and C on my right hand, E, A and C again, then E minus 7, the first voicing, followed by G, and then to repeat. Sorry, first I'm going to play A, so after G. A alone with A and C. And then to repeat, that's when I'm going to place that melody line on my left. So again, two, three, four. what you need to play the entire song. Here it is again, the first part and the second. Two, three, four. Repeat. Now you have the second part. Time to recap and replay that whole thing at full speed. 